Good evening, everyone. So it's time once again for uh, Lumber Tycoon 2, and we're going to be playing some Roblox. And tonight, um, I've already published one on the units of measure, so I figured what better to go along with it than some advanced logic gates. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you a couple of uh, advanced techniques uh, and advanced circuits. Give me a little bit to buy the gear that I need, and I'll be right back. The fairy wait takes so long. All right, just got the uh, logic sets that I'm going to need. So give me a second. I'm going to set up a, a couple of advanced logic sets, and I'll show you what they do. Real quick, while I was uh, gathering all my things, whoa, whoa, back up, back up. Uni uh, helped <laughs> finish the sign there. And then I've got a whole bunch of fans, like, all over the place. Help! <laughs> all right, guys. All right. I love the shirt. I love the shirt. Awesome. Be right back. All right. So what I've done is I've got two XOR switches right here, or two XOR gates. And I've got two inverters, so their output is always one or the other. So um, in order to do this, this is going to be a single hit it once, it turns on and off. Hit it once, turns on and off. This is going to be the set, and this is going to be the reset, and I'll show you how to wire this up. So both of these are going to in invert, uh, sorry, not inverters, and that's their output. So let's grab a wire here, and we're going to hook this one right here. Oh, they've started the saw. No, up to the far left, like that. And then we're going to start this one up to the far right. Finished. So, okay, that one's, was that, did that register? Yep, that's good. That one's good. Okay. Here's the tricky part. This output of one has to go to the input of the first XOR switch. So it looks like that. Dude, seriously, here, move. There we go. So that output goes to the input of the first one. This one, I'm going to put right here, E. We're going to cross it over. Uh oh. Can't cross through. All right, we'll cross it up. There we go. Excuse me. There we go. Right there like that. Finished. Oh, what happened? Maybe it's just lag. Hope it's just lag. All right, hold on. Okay, it was just lag. It appeared. So, all right, this is going to be the set, and this is going to be the reset. And this right here is a latch switch. So when I press this one to set it, it turns on and off. There we go. Notice the output is now on number two. And number one. So set and reset. There's a little bit of glitching in there, but for the most part, I think that's just uh, just the lag that we're feeling right now, because there's a lot of wood on my base, and I, I really do need to clean all this stuff up. But that's an example of a logic latch. On. And off. There we go. <laughs> Very cool. Oh no, a tire at random. Okay. Be right back, I'll show you the next one. Alright, so the next part's going to be a clock with on-off switch. Um, I'm trying to get these inverters to work correctly. I might have to use a, a signal sustain or a signal delay. But, I got it to work earlier. It might have just been a bug, but, we'll see. Come on, alright. 
Move. All right. Here. Here. And here. Finished. And start. Nope, that just turned it on. Hmm. How did I get that to work a second ago? I guess you could use that as a latch. It's a lot less complicated. So, here, here, and here. If you don't mind a constant signal feeding back into the, uh, the switch itself. So you could go here, turn it off, here, turn it on. So that's, a, that's another version of the latch switch. <laughs> the guy just tried it and he's like, whoa. There we go. All right, and I'll show you the next one. Okay, so <laughs> just so you know what I'm building here, it's actually a, like a big clock switch. So you saw what the latch switch was where you could press it, it would turn on, press it, it would turn off. Well, what this is going to do, it's um, an and switch, and switch, not, not, and switch, and switch, not, not. And the way I'm going to hook this up is this is going to be like the set. This is going to be the reset. And then um, I showed it to you guys the other day, the neon sign, the, how it flashes on and off. That's going to be a clock signal. So you're going to have a, an on and an off and an on and an off. That's a clock signal. So what this is going to be, it's going to be a latch switch for a clock signal. Um, uh, set, clock, reset. So I'm going to do this and just kind of pretend like I'm a clock, but I'm not actually going to hook up a clock because my repeater's up there and I, I don't have enough time to run all the way back across to get it. So uh, I'll be right back after I get the rest of the wires in here. Okay, I know this one's going to be a little bit of a short video, but we've got a lot of stuff that... Uh, we had to get set up and, and picked, and there was a couple of components I just didn't have, so we had to make two or three runs. So this right here is a really advanced clock with latch system. Oh, sorry. It's not a clock. You're going to send a clock signal on the inside here. Your first is going to be a set, and the second one's going to be a reset. I think I explained that already. So um, while this thing's clocking away, clock, 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 It'll remain the same until it receives an input, at which time the clock will set. And you'll see the output. Oh, did it set? Let's try that again. There we go. Maybe that is set. Is that set? Uh, let's see, it comes down here. Found and or switches over. Good. So that is the and. Okay. So then, uh, after it's cycled, it can continue to clock, 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 until it gets another signal, at which time it will clock. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> clock. <laughs> Hold on a second. There we go. <laughs> Had to troubleshoot it for a second. Had a loose wire. So... Um, you got your clock signal coming in right here. This is basically just on, off, on, off, on, off, right? And here are your two outputs. You got signal one and signal two. So you either got an on or you got an off or vice versa. So as it, stop it. As it sits here and clocks, it won't do anything. The circuit won't do anything until it receives an input. And then it will clock and cycle the output. So they invert. And then it'll sit here and clock, 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 until it receives a reset, at which time it will reset the signal. There you go. Okay, just so you know, this is a really advanced clock system, or a, a clock latch. And it's used for calculators. It's, it can be used in computers uh, doing calculation. No, I said the calculations. Anyhow. Um, 
to find out more about latches and clocks and switches, Radio Shack used to give out these learning lab kits, and you can go and, and just look those up. Uh, it's it was electronic learning labs. So, if you're looking for more information on advanced circuits and how to create circuits to, say, have a passcode to open up a door, or um, have on-off signals for when a certain piece of wood reaches a certain length to cut it in half, you can you can find those. So. Um, hit me up with your questions, comments, concerns, and I'll be here whenever you need me. So, um, oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Bye.